Hi, so in this video we are going to solve a problem based on conditional probability. So the problem statement is, in a hostel 60% of students read Hindi newspaper, 40% read English newspaper and 20% read both. A student is selected at random. First, we have to find the probability that she reads neither Hindi nor English newspaper. And second, if she reads a Hindi newspaper, then we have to find the probability that she reads English newspaper also and in third part if she reads English newspaper we have to find the probability that she reads Hindi newspaper also. So if 60% students read Hindi newspaper then the probability that a student will read Hindi newspaper will actually be 60 out of 100 that is 0 0.6 and the probability of a student reading English newspaper will be 40 by 100 that is 0 0.4 and we have that 20% students read both Hindi and English newspaper. That means the probability that a student reads both Hindi and English is equal to 0 0.2. 20 by 100 will give you 0 0.2 and then what we have to find first we have to find the probability that a randomly selected student reads neither Hindi nor English newspaper. That means we actually have to find the probability of not reading a Hindi newspaper that means Hindi complement and that means intersection not reading an English newspaper also. So what is this? If you remember De Morgan's law properly we have H complement intersection E complement can be written as H union E whole complement and we also have the probability of H union E is equal to the probability of H plus the probability of E minus the probability of H intersection E. This comes directly from the cardinal numbers of two sets who are intersecting each other. right? And if you have a doubt in this, you can directly refer to the set theory. So the probability that a randomly selected students read either a Hindi or English newspaper, that means she reads at least one of them, is actually equal to probability that a student reads Hindi, that is 0 0.6 plus the probability that a student reads English newspaper that is 0 0.4 minus the probability that a student reads both the newspaper that is 0 0.2 and this will be equal to 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is the probability that the selected student reads at least one of these newspaper. So the probability that a student is not reading any of the newspapers Hindi or English will actually be equal to the complement of the probability of Hindi Union English, right? And this will be equal to 1 minus probability of a student reading Hindi newspaper or English newspaper, right? So the probability of a person not reading any of the newspaper will actually be equal to 1 minus 0 0.8, that is 0 0.2. So there will be 20% of the students who are actually not reading any of the newspapers, right? So the answer for the first question is actually equal to 0 0.2, right? And now let's go to the next part of the problem. So let me erase all this. And for the second part, we have to find if she reads a Hindi newspaper, find the probability that she reads English newspaper. That means we have to find the probability of a student reading English newspaper when we already know that she reads Hindi newspaper. That means we have to find the probability of event E happening where H has already taken place. That means we have to find the probability of E intersection H divided by probability of H, right? Probability of E intersection H is 0 0.2 and the probability of H, that means a student reading Hindi newspaper is 0 0.6. This will be equal to 1 by 3. And for the third part, if she reads English newspaper, find the probability that she reads Hindi newspaper. That means we have to find the probability of a student reading Hindi newspaper 
when we already know that she reads English newspaper right and this will be equal to probability of H intersection E divided by the probability of E and this will be equal to 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.4 this is 1 by 2 so this was a problem based on conditional probability and after this I am taking one more video where we are going to solve few different type of problems based on conditional probability. So keep watching my smart and bye bye till then.